last year is widely held as the next LeBron James. We simply know him as the Crane. everyone out there what it feels like to be the next LeBron James. Hey. LeBron James? I'm the only Ty Crane. All right, you heard it here first. The only Ty Crane. Why do all the bench warmers always got something to say? He's watching the damn game, that's why. Got a good view, huh? Yeah. Ty Crane outscored a whole team by himself. Wonder how that happened. He had nothing but 32 points. I got 12 of them. What'd you get, Kenyon? Hey, shut up, dog. The Crane swooped down on you and delivered a basket of beat down. He clowns you, dog. Yeah, he better shut He had you unlocked the whole game. Yo, now, why don't you shut your mouth before I close it for good? You didn't do shit either the whole game. Yo, I don't what? know what you're talking about. Hold on, man. Can we all just get along? Shut your little ass up. You can even play. Exactly. That's Yo, Shay. Why you talking shit, That's the ball, dog. points in 16 minutes. That's why Coach got rid of your dumb ass. Exactly. Timo, you was in the game the whole time. You never even touched a rock. You didn't do shit. You were in the game. You might as well wear the same shit. Who was you passing the ball? And you were playing and you didn't even do shit. Somebody in the house. I was passing the ball to you. Kenny Ray Carter, Richmond High School, All America, 1972. Good to see you, sir. I was really happy to see you in the stands tonight. Look, I have to tell you, sir, I haven't made up my mind yet. As I told you, it's time for me to step down. The last few years have been really tough. Well, losing's hard, sir. This isn't about losing games, Kenny. I can't get them to show up for school, for practice. I can't get parents involved, and I'm done chasing kids in the streets and pulling them into the gym. Yeah, it's a tough job. Richmond is a tough little city. When I saw you here tonight, I thought, I got to meet me. Well, actually, I was uh, here for another reason. My son plays for St. Francis. He does? Which kid was he? Well, you didn't see him. He's a freshman. He didn't play. That's great. Great school. No, that school was rough when I went there. It's way beyond that now. Ooh. Well, then just forget about it. Don't even discuss it again. I can't quite do that. 
Coach officially offered me the job tonight. The clock's ticking. And when you say offering job, there's usually money involved. Yeah, that might be a thousand bucks in it for me. For five months of work? Oh, well, you can't say no to that. The team, it's so bad. Those boys, they're so angry and undisciplined. And besides, you know, you don't have the time. You're trying to open up a second store. Exactly. I don't have the Hell, I don't have any time. And you promised to take your girlfriend to Mexico in January. And I'm definitely keeping that promise. There's no way I'm not going to Mexico and hanging out on the beach with you and your bikini. I can't take that job. So when do you start? You should have spoken to me first. Why? It was a personal choice for me. So what happens to me? Still gonna come to my games? I'll probably miss most of your games, Damien. I'm sorry. Well, then I'll just go to Richmond and play for you. No. Well, why not? Dad, you've always been my coach. This is a great school, Damien. Puts you in a great position for college. Dad, I'm a freshman. Just because I'm coaching at Richmond, it doesn't change our plans for your future, all right? I'd like to coach the team. Well, I hope you're up for the task. These young men need discipline. The job comes with a $1,500 stipend and a major time commitment for the next four months. I accept. Great. We're thrilled to have you. Gentlemen, I hate to be abrupt, but I do have a budget meeting I need to run to. Mr. Carter, is there anything you need from us? Well, I just need about um, 25 copies of this document. I'm all set. Ray, would you see to it that Mr. Carter, Coach Carter, gets these copies? Will do. Gentlemen. I'm not saying this is not going to be a challenge. But, Kenny, you know the deal here. Just keep in mind, these are good boys. <laughs> 